Hello, Jim Barbush from my backyard sanctuary under a canopy of trees. Though it's a hot day, I am in the shade and the breeze is flowing, keeping me somewhat cool. Did you ever get in a debate with someone or people or in a group or on Facebook and you're debating an important issue, one of those social issues, whether it's abortion, gay rights, gay marriage, or what else? Situations that say in the debate, someone is saying, I am right, which infers you are wrong. Sure, we've all been there. And many times when people are challenged in their thinking, Many people will say, you can't judge me, or you can't judge them. He who is without sin, let him cast the first stone. What do you say to that? That could almost be a, a winning argument for them. Because no one is without sin. Therefore, no one can cast the first stone. And there are times when we shouldn't be judging people in certain aspects. But there are times when we do judge. We judge our own children's behavior, whether it's good or bad. We judge situations at work, whether they're good or bad. And in both those cases, there are appropriate times to take action, to let people know that things aren't going well and things need to change. That's judgment. There are times when judgment is wrong. When someone says to you or me, you're just a goof. <laughs> and has no reason behind what they're saying. Or what a, what a horrible person that is. That's not a right judgment. Maybe that person is doing horrible things or things that you think are horrible. So that could be a wrong, it could be a wrong judgment also. But I thought about this today when I was talking to somebody after I discussed an issue with them. If it is said, he who is without sin, let him cast the first stone. Well, first of all, the person who said that was Jesus Christ who he was without sin, therefore he had the right and the authority to say that, because he could. He could have cast a stone, but he did not, and he would not. But I also thought of this, as a response to that statement, he was without sin, let him cast the first stone. I thought of, he who is with sin, let him do something about it to correct it. Which that covers all of us. We who are with sin, let us do something about it and correct it. Let me judge myself and do something about it and correct it. Because if I don't judge myself, eventually someone will judge me in that circumstance if I am doing wrong. And sometimes, by the appropriate people, I should be called on the carpet. Judged for misbehavior, for wrong behavior, for wrong attitudes, for wrong things said, whatever the case may be. So, there's a certain level of judgment that we do make and we must make. So when you're in your next debate and somebody says, he who is without sin, let him cast the first stone. Or you can't judge me. Think about what your response is going to be. And if you have a tendency to say that, think about what you should say. Maybe we should question if somebody judges us, maybe we should question why they are doing it. 
am I really doing something wrong? And lastly, it's a double-edged sword that can be in the sense that we can't say, oh, I'm not doing this too well and I need to fix it, but I'm doing these things pretty good, so I'm okay. Now, if we're not doing well here, but we're doing okay over here, the whole is affected. We can't say the whole is okay, that we all need to improve and get rid of certain things. The whole is still has a problem. The whole is still deficient. So we all things have we all have things that have to be knocked out of us. So let's work on he who is with sin. Let him do something about it and get rid of it. Have a great day. Remember this for your next political debate.